Thanks, Jonathan and Mark. I am Kendall Nelson. I work for the Open Infrastructure Foundation. I'm Dawson Coleman. I'm a recent graduate of North Dakota State University. In looking forward towards the next decade of open infrastructure, you might be asking, where are these contributors going to come from? Well, the OpenStack community has started engaging with more programs and universities than ever before to collaborate with students, making them into contributors before they even graduate and start looking for jobs. When I started in OpenStack five years ago, not all of these programs existed. While OpenStack continues to participate in programs like the Software Freedom Conservancy's Outreach Internship that Victoria mentioned yesterday and the Grace Hopper Conference's Open Source Day, onboarding experiences continue to improve and there are more and more paths to enter the community. More recently, we've begun partnering with universities like Boston University and North Dakota State University who have courses focused on real world development where students can get involved with open source communities like OpenStack. That's actually how Dawson got involved. Yeah, earlier this year, I chose to work on OpenStack Octavia for my senior capstone project at NDSU. As part of that process, I was given the opportunity to work with a team of students and collaborate closely with Adam Harwell and Michael Johnson to bring new TLS configuration options to Octavia, giving operators more transparency and better control over their TLS ciphers and versions that their load balancers are using. Our team was able to contribute these features as part of the USURI and Victoria releases. It was a great opportunity to get involved in the development of real world software and collaborate with an open source community. This helpful community members and excellent documentation made it easy to become a first time contributor to OpenStack. A lot has happened in the wonderful world of OpenStack since our last Open Infrastructure Summit about a year ago. Two software releases, the USURI and Victoria releases. As Dawson mentioned, Usuri saw a lot of growth in new areas of technology, particularly around encryption and security. In the most recent release, Victoria, Ironic saw an over 60% increase in activity and landed changes that focused on reducing the footprint of its standalone service and supporting more systems at the edge. There was also a focus on hardware enablement and with that came more support for ways of interacting with FPGAs which we expect to continue to grow in the Wallaby release in April. There's always more work to be done and we always welcome more contributors. There are tons of ways to get involved. If your university doesn't have a program like NDSU does, there are lots of resources available to help you get started. With Adam, Michael and Kendall's help along with the OpenStack contributor guide, I was able to help work on features that are being used in production today. If you want a little more hands-on help getting started, Later this week, you can attend Upstream Institute, a two-day program that will teach you the basics of the OpenStack community and how you can get involved. We really hope to see you later this week at Upstream Institute and out in the community after that. Thank you.